me thank my friend, Asami Madov Haikin, and all of you for coming out today and supporting me to be the next mayor of the city of New York. Dove has been a friend, as he pointed out, for over 30 years. For over 30 years, we've stood together on a number of different issues. And the thing I can tell you about him, he has always let principle guide him. He's always let the things that he believes in. He isn't a person who is on one side one day and on a different side the next. He is, you know exactly where he is. He doesn't vacillate, he doesn't go back and forth. And he's when he's your friend, he's your friend. But he has stood up on behalf of the community for years. He stood up and represented him. He stood up and always been an independent voice, taking on, doesn't matter who. He'll take on the most powerful, it doesn't matter. He's standing up and fighting for what he believes. It is great to see you, my friend. Thank you for your support. Thank you so much. I'm proud to be here and receive the support of so many individuals today as we look to the future of New York City. And then if you look at Dove's comments, he hit so many of the issues on the head. Issues of transportation. These are issues if the city of New York worked along with the community, if they listened and then moved forward, provide the leadership. It is good for New York City. It's good for this community. It's good for communities across the city. Here in Brooklyn, whether it's Williamsburg or Crown Heights or Borough Park or Flatbush or other neighborhoods across the city, everybody wants someone who will listen. We realize that we're not always going to agree but we always can work together. We can always listen and hear each other. We can always try and work to common solutions. So as we look at issues like transportation, for school children, education, education is the backbone. Why isn't New York City working to make sure that children get to and from school and get there <laughs> safely? When it comes to issues like child care, what's happened in child care slots and priority seven vouchers and the cuts have been outrageous. It's prevented people from going to work, prevented mothers from going to work. It's kept families that are poor to begin with. It's created additional hardship for them. We need to bring that back. We need to create those child care opportunities. We need to keep our word and our commitment to people in the communities. New York City needs to do that. Our special education children, those with special needs, to continue to force families to go through a court fight year after year after year after year after year is wrong. It is wrong. And all it does is continue to place under stress those families who are struggling already. Those, those families who are working hard to continue to get ahead. It puts extra stress on them. There's so many things we can do and will do together. Because you'll have in City Hall someone who will listen, someone who will work with you, someone who will look to come up with common solutions someone who will move forward and move forward together. That's the type of leader I've always been. Chair Tom Sid, Tom Sid, everybody, Tom Sid, Tom Sid, come on, Tom Sid, Tom Sid, Tom Sid. We have 19 days left until the election. This election is September 10th. Time gets short. It's the things that we do over the next 19 days that will determine who the next mayor of the city of New York is. I need your help. I need your help. Together, we will move the city in a different direction. We will put someone in City Hall who will work with everybody. We'll put somebody in City Hall who will listen, who will listen and work together, who will work collaboratively. So over the next 19 days, let's put it in gear. Let's really turn it up. Let's move forward together. I have no doubt that with your help and God's will, I will be the next mayor of the city of New York. Bill, can I get, can I get you real quick because I might not make it to you next